Welcome back. This is video number eight. This is going to be traffic source number four. So congratulations, you have reached the end of this video course. So this is somewhat of a mixture of traffic and optimization. This is something that most people forget about, but by doing so, you will rank higher in the Instagram ranking system, the algorithm and all that, and that will help you. So basically, if you think about it, if you optimize your posts, then you'll tell Instagram where you need to be ranked. You'll attract the right person and then you will get the right traffic. You'll get more conversions, likes, and then you'll increase your rank. So the next traffic source is image captions. Believe it or not, your image captions make or break whether you attract the right or wrong person. If you don't put image captions and you solely rely on the image, and the hashtags, then you're not actually getting the full potential of traffic that you could be getting. So in other words, you want to be as descriptive as possible without being spammy like the hashtags and you want to have captions for your images. So on top of the hashtags, if you do it all right, you have other keywords that you can essentially stuff in. And then that's, that's the nice thing about Instagram is you can literally stuff in a bunch of keywords and actually get away with it and be okay because that's what they're looking for. So also you want to make sure that they are optimized towards who you want to attract. So the key here is to optimize your captions, your hashtags, your pictures even, and much more. So while this may not sound like a powerful technique, like a mind blowing traffic source and all that, it's because you're tapping into the Instagram algorithm. Once you get this right, you get the hashtags right, and you do your shout outs and all that, you can really kickstart and jumpstart everything so that you can begin to start creating a snowball effect. So the shout outs will help you in getting people to your page and all that. But by doing that, you start building a snowball that's just going downhill and just, as you know, with the snowball, as it goes downhill, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger because you got all this optimization right. All right, so let me show you some examples of how this works. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you a very quick difference between a brand and a personal lifestyle kind of Instagram profile. So first things first, this one here is scuba diving magazine. So very, very kind of, uh, this is how it is kind of thing. A scuba lab test driver scores a regular during our in water gear tests. So they're telling them what's happening, who it is, what's in the picture, but also more importantly, what they are doing. So it's part of their lifestyle, part of their day, it's like, hey, this is what we're doing today kind of thing. So this is the caption. And then, of course, there's the hashtags here. Now, on a more personal profile, we can see that the caption is Happy International Whale Shark Day to all shark loving friends. So it's not really related to the picture itself but it is engaging with the audience. So you could do that as well. But if you use captions that are related to the post, but are also engaging as well, that's a bonus and can help you as well. So as you can see, he, you got captions here, you have hashtags and you have a good picture. A lot of people, what they do is they just post a picture, maybe some captions and no hashtag or they do hashtags and very little captions, if that. So you kind of what you want to do is what I'm trying to tell you is basically balance it out, keep everything so that you have everything optimized and you're able to rank in the Instagram algorithm. Now, like I said, go back to Instagram.com slash Instagram, get an idea, take a look at what people are doing in your niche, what you know, posts are actually getting good engagement and all that. Don't copy people, but you can use similar hashtags that they're doing well on. Take a look at people that are authorities in your niche that are doing well and kind of follow them and analyze them and potentially mimic them as well. 
Now, besides images, I'll say videos work really well. But as you know, with Instagram, you can't really take long videos like you would on YouTube. Videos will be like short, very short, 10 second or less clips. So if you can do that, you can also use that to increase your engagement as well. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.